Hey my friends, welcome to this week's blog. This week we're going to be talking about traveling with your Ralph and some tips I have for taking it short distances and for traveling longer distances with it. So, let's take a look. So there are a variety of cases available for RAVs. Uh, you can buy one direct from RAV that has a backpack strap, a nice little handle at the top for carrying it like that, and also has a piece that is magnetic that goes up and down. This is for if you're putting it down on wet areas. Uh, it allows you to not have it in direct contact with the material. So this is a waterproof sort of material. So you could sit with this on the ground or just put it down and not worry about it soaking through. Now when looking for a bag, I would recommend finding one that has a little bit of padding so you have some assurance if you're traveling um, or just throwing this in your car that you don't need to worry too much about banging it around and scratching it. Um, this again is Rab's bag. It has a nice, nice cushion inside of it. Uh, it's cushioned especially in the back so you're not really feeling this pressure against you. And you want to make sure you find one that has a good bracing system for the bottom straps, like this. Because uh, the RAVs are pretty heavy. They're a little bit heavier than a hand pan, or around the same weight. So it's good to have this well braced so you don't have to worry about it breaking on you. I also would recommend one, if you can find it, that has either that flap to protect it or has some sort of waterproofing. If you buy one that doesn't have waterproofing, there's a lot of different sprays you can add to the outside of the bag to waterproof it, so you don't need to worry about that uh, if you're on the road or wherever you're going. Now the other backpack that I have is this one. It looks very similar to the RAV one. Um, there's a couple different brands that make these, but these ones have pockets. Um, and I think pockets can be useful. You can also just put it inside with your RAV. But if you're traveling with your RAV, I always have, well, I have various busking licenses, snacks, and a towel, microfiber cloth, and some frog lube, or whatever cleaning product you use. These are good to have with you, because if you're spending time outside, um, you're traveling long distance, you're going to want to wipe this down every once in a while, because you don't want to keep your wrath in the case the entire time. So as I'm bringing this places, playing it, taking it out, I'll wipe it down and put it back. It, you have to be a little bit more vigilant with this uh, for rust, just because when they're in an enclosed environment, there's typically higher humidity, especially if you're out, outdoors or traveling. So it's good to leave these bags open. Um, so I'll show you how I pack up my car. When loading your RAV in your car, I would recommend keeping it face up. So you want the tongues facing up. Um, so obviously, you're putting it in the bag. You want to have these towards the front and the bottom part towards the straps. Not that it's really a worry, but just in case, it's good to not put too much pressure on the tongues, especially if you're gonna stack more than one on top of each other. Um, so I'll usually just open up my trunk, have the space there, um, and fill it with my other instruments. Again, if you're gonna be in the car for long periods of time, I absolutely recommend keeping them open. Even if it's just cracked like that, this will allow moisture not to build up inside of them and prevent any possible issues. Um, again, they're pretty pretty good about not rusting, so shouldn't be much of a worry, but if you make sure you travel with a relatively padded case, you bring your steel protectant or lubricant, like frog lube, phoenix oil, or even coconut oil works, you should be fine on any trip. If you're flying, look into the flight cases, um, but again, depending on your country and what airline, you might be able to check it in uh, as a carry-on, like a guitar, uh, and I've done that before as well. So, Thanks for watching, my friends. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you have any questions, ask them below in the comments, and we'll try to address them in a future video, and either myself or the RAV team will get back to you. Stay well and talk to you soon.